Hello, good evening, and welcome back to the second season of Jerry's Online Phonics. Now, if you'll remember from the first season, you saw Jerry work away from the lowly C ranks to an honorable and yet respected B rank. <clears throat> B rank, sorry, my wish is correct. It does that from time to time, so don't worry. Let's see. Okay, last time you saw me fought fight not fight, but fight all over the world. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Even Africa. So that makes six continents and a buttload of countries that I've been to. Online actually. Online at least. I have friends in my PSN account from all over the world, so it's not just people in America, it's people from Europe, Asia, and well just mostly North America, Europe, and Asia. I think maybe one or two from South America, but I'm not sure. But <clears throat> without further ado, let's jump into some matches, which uh, I have a bit to show you. And uh, and to keep with the uh, promises that you know, second season spring from like you know TV shows or even web series, uh, the fights are you know well they're not guaranteed to be more intense than the first season, but if they are. You know, hopefully you'll enjoy it, and you'll see my performance evolve over time, as always, because I'm always, you know, changing when I'm playing this game. Uh, I get frustrated a lot. It's a very, very frustrating fight with Jerry online, especially with the, uh, if you remember from the first season, I use a, a PS3 controller, and at the uh, recommended uh, arcade fight stick, which costs about uh, an arm and a leg to get, <laughs> especially because I'm poor, so... You know, I do the best I can with what I have. Uh, but, uh, but I'm just um, rambling on now, so let's just jump into the fights and let's see what happens. The first fight takes place in Portugal, which uh, they're um, which for a country they have a um, a lot of strong fighters from a street fighter. So let's see how this goes. It's a uh, Dudley fighter, but he, well, he's using Dudley, but it's the name. Seems to be Yang, which is uh, kind of rare in the, in the A version of Street Fighter. Because uh, everybody either the dumb Yang or just at the mind because he uh, was nerfed severely, just like his brother Yu. Okay, now since this is a deadly fight, what I'm going to look for are basically uh, just, you know, boxy mix up options. Like, uh, he likes to get in close, so basically. Maybe I'll try to use that against them, or you know, maybe just zone them a little bit before actually going to work with them on the pulse. But let's see what happens. Okay, start off by doing a bit of air foot tease here, I see. Alright, try to work with some pulse, but uh, unsuccessful. Like, it doesn't matter if the uh, Portuguese fight. Well, it doesn't matter if a fight from Portugal is either uh, D rank, B rank, or A rank. We all fight this. <laughs> they are just extremely hard to beat. <laughs> As you'll see later on in the series when um, I do something for the first time. Definitely have to be especially careful because he has a dragon punch type uh, up the which is uh, very deadly if you remember for Jerry. Because she's mostly, uh, even though she's like a uh, specified season. Well, even though she's. Like, damn, I can't even get a word in. <laughs> uh, you, know you know what? I'll just let them fight and then like, speak afterwards about the fight. Because every time I try to speak, they always. Uh, contact and uh, it's kind of hard to get a word in hitch one so I just like to watch the fight. Uh, 
But if I can, I'll... Uh, if I can, I'll try and speak during the quiet moments of the fight, but uh, other than that, I'll just shut up. I'll speak a little bit on the fight. Okay, now what makes Dudley so dangerous against Jerry? Well, for Jerry, is that he has a Dragon Punch type uppercut, which, uh, if you uh, don't know, is a very dangerous move in this game for um, for anybody that can use it because uh, it has invincibility frames on startup, and once it starts up, it can't stop or it's really hard to interrupt. And once it pops off, is that's it. It just connects and just does instant damage. Other than that, it's an anti-air move too, so with Jerry, mostly with the way I use her is that uh, I use her for two roles. One is for zoning purposes, which uh, really isn't that effective because for her, uh, if I try to zone, it's like her fireballs kind of like disappear, like vanish, like after like a certain length. So in order to zone, probably have to get in a little closer or just stand back and just like just fire off like random balls, random balls, random fireballs. If I try to move in closer to like, you know, properly zone, like uh like real like with his fireballs and make it like travel full screen and that disappear or can't fireballs they don't disappear. If I try to get in close to Jerry and like just like become offensive like uh, fireball wise, uh she'll get punished heavily from every type of character. Her moves are all of her moves are uh can be interrupted, so she has no uh advantages whatsoever when uh she's going up against someone else. I think uh in a tier, which she is, uh, I think, a either mid to low tier character. Like, if you have a control, she's basically a low, she's basically a tier character, low tier character. And if you have a fight stick, she's basically a mid tier character. You can make her do more stuff. Such as throw fireballs, which is really hard to do on a controller. 
even though people say it's possible. Uh, again, back to Dragon Punch. Though, why is it, why is it so dangerous? It's because it has uh, invincibility frames, which means it can't be interrupted. It can't interrupt Jerry all of Jerry's uh, offensive options, and it basically forces her to uh, zone, which is really unsafe for her. But I rambled on long enough. It's time for war parts. <laughs> Because I want to squeeze in as many fights as possible for you guys. Let's see. This is the pity one from Japan. Japan, Japan. Now, if this Cody guy is really experienced, this could be really experienced at home. Well, Using him, he could be really hard for Jerry because he has, uh, he's basically like a mix up character and, you know, a lot of anti air. As soon as he's red off, that's not done. Shut up, Cody. Will the tide of battle turn? thing you should know about this fight is the reason behind why I titled it uh, a pity on Japan is that I think the guy kind of actually felt sorry for me because uh, throughout the entire match Jerry wasn't doing wasn't doing anything I was telling her to do control us because uh, sometimes that happens when you um, when, I, when I use the PSD control it's like most times that when I use Jerry it's that it kind of stops working after a while or it works but then it's like you know inputs don't match output speeds and so if I input something that I want her to do specifically at a certain time she doesn't do it she always does it like a few like a second later which is like you know really bad in a fighting game because you know like every 
It's like every second counts, or like every half second in a funny game counts because some you don't know. Because now one split second, so like you can have like the opponent where you want him or her, him or her, like where you want them like at a specific moment in time. But after that moment in time is passed, it's like uh, that opponent can like do other stuff, which can like reverse what you're trying to do and basically, you know, just throw the ball back in their court. Thereby they get the kill. And you don't. See, but uh, besides that, let's uh, continue on. See. I'm throwing. Oh, uh, this is a endless battle fight where I just randomly went to a uh, lobby and I saw this guy fighting. Uh, it's, uh, well, you see his uh, game attack right there. It's a Terminator, Terminator 2 reference. And uh, in his lobby, he had, like, as a, as a rule that, you know, no throwing characters were allowed. And I was like, okay, that's cool. I could, like, you know, train a little bit. I can like train a little bit, see how you know people use their characters and how I can like you know better jury so that I can you know win more fights online. And this is what happened. One character his main character right there is you see it's Zangief, so uh I didn't know that at the time, so when I went to the fight, I was kinda of completely off guard by his uh, character choice. You know my friends I kinda of call this match the uh you know Goku Frieza match <laughs> because uh uh, Frieza kind of made this little, little wager with Goku that, you know, he would, like, wouldn't punch him. But he just, like, just used kicks when he's fighting him. But, you know, that's a little Dragon Ball Z stuff, if you know. If you're interested. Are you ready? Man, it was to me, so I said, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> Alright, this is my throw. I'm gonna shoot the jet dogs. I know right now he's getting frustrated as crap because he keeps shooting projectors like he did. Keep connecting with it. The green hand out of frustration. Two short projectiles. Every time he jumps, I act. Right now he's just out of options. He's just uh trying to guess at what I'm trying to do. And he's dead. Okay, got time for one more fight. 
And this is the second part of the, um, the Endless Battle Lobby that I was in. There was only two fighters, just him and this guy. And uh, he has a really interesting Vega, <laughs> or color choice in Vega. Which I really found interesting. So let's see what happens. <laughs> The battle has begun! Fight! Alright, now as you can see, uh, this, uh, this guy's big ass only 355 uh, battle points, right? So that means you can't really use his main. This is like a, maybe a secondary. Thus, uh, player points don't match up with the battle points. and painless. Well, for the most part. Okay, that's going to do it for this set because the video is approaching 23 minutes. But as a, you know, side note, which is kind of funny, is that immediately after this fight, when I um, was uh, supposed to go up against the uh, first guy, or the, uh, you know, the Terminator 2 guy, I was supposed to go up against him for a second time. Uh, he actually uh, kicked me out of the lobby, and then I was talking to my friends about it, and they were like, you know, he just, uh, I kind of showed them up <laughs> with my character, because I just came in out of nowhere and just uh, beat him. Beat him pretty bad. But, uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. Alright, this is R-String saying, see you when I see you. Peace.